Hey y'all, welcome back and I'm glad you're here. This is Texas Toolbox and my name is Justin. Let's get into it. Today we're going to be working on the Nissan Altima QR25 top end, specifically the valve clearances. Okay, so like I just said, we'll be working on the heads and if there's time, the balancing shafts. And I've decided to do this on my workbench. If you've been following the project, you know this head is not the head I'll be using on the current rebuild. <clears throat> and I'm doing this work for illustrative educational purposes. For the bulk of this video, I'll be using a feeler gauge today, which is our featured tool. Now, since I've had this head stored, I'll need to quickly install the camshafts I've previously removed during the teardown of this motor. I'll put some assembly loop to protect the lobes and journals, then I'll go through the tightening sequence and torque specifications which you can find in my previous video, Heads and Camshaft Install. I'll quickly make a handmade spreadsheet to keep track of the measurements. Then I'll go to town and check each and every valve clearance. I do this by rubbing my feeler gauge between the cam with the small lobe pointed 180 degrees away from the follower. Each feeler has a set thickness stamped on it. Here, I'm going through 10 thousandths or a hundredth of an inch to 15 thousandths of an inch. Once I've got these numbers, I'll compare them with the cold tolerances, which in this case I have standard in standard units, <clears throat> excuse me, as 10 thousandths to 13 thousandths on the intake side and 9 thousandths to 13 thousandths on the exhaust side. We've just got the measurements from the feeler gauge and found all our current valve clearances. I've used the micrometer to measure the thickness of the cam buckets to make a point to y'all at home. You'll see what I mean. The buckets are stamped with their metric measurements. In this example, I measure an 808 bucket. We'll do some quick math soon. The feeler measurements I just took are the thickness of the feeler gauge that would fit between the camshaft lobe and the cam follower. For those at home, you should do a quick Google of what a cam is. I'll give you the Oxford definition. A projection on a rotating part of machinery designed to make sliding contact with another part while rotating to impart reciprocal or variable motion. I'm going to remove the camshaft so that I can get the measurements <clears throat> stamped on the bottom of the cam followers, also known as cam buckets, which I'll try to show you later in the video. I'll use a simple magnet to pull the cam buckets off, 
and then I'll put them back in place until I'm ready to replace them. I'll be jotting all these measurements down as well. Okay, we're going to be calculating tolerances. And if I wasn't careful here, I'd make a terrible mistake. Just like my chemistry professor from community college would tell me, you gotta watch the measurements. I can't do his accent. <laughs> I'm going to convert the metric units on these buckets. So let's do some quick math. As promised, the 808 bucket measures 318 thousandths of an inch. The conversion factor between inches and centimeters is 25.4. So if we multiply that by 100, we get the stamped measurement. Wow! And since these heads are dual valve for intake and exhaust, we have, that's right, 16 valves to do. Don't worry, I did the work for us. Here's the formula at the top of the page. T plus A minus V equals N. What does this mean? Well. T is the measured thickness, in this case, it's the stamp value that we convert to standard units, plus A, which is the measured clearance that we just took all that time to find, and V is the tolerance. In this example, I'm using the lowest of the tolerance. I can't actually use these numbers because once the heads are machined, I'll need to do this again. You can do this procedure in or out of the car. That all, that all, all that, Measuring gives us n, which in the equation, did you guess what n is? Well, if you guessed the new cam bucket thickness, you'd be right. Now we know what size to get for our new cam buckets and we can order the new sizes we need. The less we have to order, the better, because these range from 40 to $100 a pop. I wanted to show you guys how to deal with the balancing shafts, but we just didn't have enough time for this week's video. I hope to see you back next week, and in the meantime, add another tool to your toolbox, even if it's knowledge, because right thinking leads to right actions.